Buddha Dharma Pure and Simple Dedicating one's merits is an act of selfless giving. If practiced by all, it would surely lead to a harmonious and joyful human world. Dedication of Merit In Buddhist monasteries, morning and evening chanting always conclude with a verse of taking refuge in this triple gem and a dedication of merit. Formal Buddhist meals are also ended with a dedication of merit for breakfast and lunch. Buddhist funerals include a dedication of merit for the deceased and prayer ceremonies also culminate with a dedication for the living. Why do the daily activities in Buddhist monasteries conclude with a dedication of merit? What is its significance? To dedicate means to deposit, just as people deposit money in a bank for safekeeping. When a meritorious deed is done, one hopes that it can bring their parents and family good health and peace. This is the significance of dedicating merit. The dedication of merit is like sowing seeds. When one nurtures a seed with care, it will sprout, bloom and bear many fruits. In this way, a small cause can contribute to a fruitful result. To dedicate merit is also like lighting a candle with another. The candle loses nothing by lighting another, instead becomes even brighter. Dedication of merit also reflects one's magnanimity, in which one wishes that glory goes to the Buddha, success goes to the multitude, benefit goes to the monastery, merit goes to the devotees. It also encompasses many meanings, including 1. A dedication of the lesser towards the greater 2. A dedication from oneself towards others 3. A dedication of phenomena towards principle 4. A dedication of causes towards effects and 5. A dedication from existence towards emptiness what is meant by a dedication of the lesser towards the greater? For example, when one offers a small piece of bread, one dedicates it universally to all beings, wishing that all beings are adequately provided for. Or, when one donates $10 to establishing a university, one can dedicate it universally, wishing that all students can excel in their studies. A small piece of bread or $10 might seem insignificant, but through dedication, the merit is received by all. A dedication from oneself towards others is like dedicating merit to one's parents for their longevity after chanting and paying homage to the Buddha. It is also like dedicating merit to one's children so they may gain wisdom after a donation for the cause of printing sutras. Its significance is to benefit both oneself and others. What is the dedication of phenomena towards principle? Take the example of vowing to be a glass of water to quench people's thirst, vowing to be a path for others to travel with ease, vowing to be a tree that provides shade for others, vowing to be a filial child to one's parents so they are content and happy, or vowing to be a good parent to be a role model for one's children. From a phenomenal tense standpoint, these acts may seem trivial, but since the mind is infinitely magnanimous, it can be dedicated universally in principle. What is the dedication of causes towards effects? All present actions are considered to be at a causal stage. However, present causes come into fruition as future effects. 
Just as seeds sown in the spring produce a harvest in autumn, one reaps what has previously been sown. Good causes and conditions planted in this lifetime turn into good future outcomes which is dedicating a cause to its effect. Lastly, there is dedication from existence towards emptiness. Merit is usually dedicated towards something specific, but this also restricts its possibilities. By transforming the limited into the limitless, one dedicates the existence towards emptiness. Just as the vast space encompasses all phenomena, one overcomes all suffering by realizing the emptiness of the five aggregates. All forms can be seen as formless, and all conditioned phenomena as unconditioned. Similarly, one state of mind should be as vast as space, as boundless as the Dharma realm when dedicating merit. The practice of dedicating one's merit can always be cultivated in daily life. Even the mere thought of goodwill and the smallest good deed can be dedicated. By doing what one's abilities allow and dedicating the merit towards others, a tiny drop of water can become a mighty ocean and the weakest candle flare can illuminate a room. Dedicating one's merits is an act of selfless giving. If practiced by all, it would surely lead to a harmonious and joyful human world. Please tune in same time next week as we meet on air.